Hi, I'm Pat Keown, a research analyst with Lipper, and I'm here to speak to you about fund flows for the weekend and Wednesday, January 7th. Let's start by taking a quick look at the market, market activity for the week. The year started off with a volatile uh, week of trading uh, for the broad market indices. Uh, both the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average had uh, uh, suffered fairly significant losses. Uh, the S&P was down 1.6% for the week and the Dow was off 1.3%. Uh, and both, both indices suffer, suffered their largest one-day losses since October on Monday, January 5th. The sell-off was driven by, continue, by the continued slide in oil prices. The markets bounced back on Wednesday, uh, buoyed by uh, the, the Federal Reserve uh, market meeting minutes, uh, stating that uh, we don't have, uh, stating that they don't foresee raising interest rates anytime soon, as well as strong private job uh, data was released. Uh, excuse me, strong private sector jobs data was released. Okay, let's turn our uh, attention back to fund flows now. Overall, for the week, we saw net net outflows of 19.9 billion. Uh, this this number includes both mutual funds and ETFs. Uh, let's take a closer look at our macro groups now. For the week, equity mutual funds had 3.1 billion dollars in outflows. Taxable bond funds had 4.5 billion dollars in inflows. Muni bond funds followed suit with 1.2 billion dollars in inflows, while money market funds saw 12.7 billion dollars leave their coffers. Let's take a closer look at our equity mutual fund group now. As stated before, they had $3.1 billion in outflows. It was their second consecutive week of outflows. Uh, and, and equity funds, they moved along with the broad market indices uh, with their performance as they were off 1.9% for the week. Uh, breaking, breaking apart the group a little bit further, we see that domestic equity funds accounted for $3.2 billion of the outflows while non-domestic equity funds took in $77 million. This uh, continues the trend we saw in 2014 with non-domestic leading the way. 2014, non-domestic took in uh, just over $82 billion, while domestic had right around $1 billion in net inflows. Let's move to equity ETFs now. For the week, the group was down $9.2 billion. Uh, ETF investors were selling the Spider S&P 500 ETF, which had net outflows of $7.3 billion. The PowerShares QQQ ETF, net outflows of $1.7 billion. And the iShares Russell 2000 ETF, which had outflows of $1.4 billion. Moving on now to our taxable bond group. Uh, the group took in $4.5 billion last week. Uh, the majority of these inflows were seen in the Core Plus bond funds as well as the core bond funds. Core Plus took in 2.4, while Core Bond had net inflows of 1 billion. Overall, for last year, Core Bond took in uh, right around 60 billion, while Core Plus had outflows of almost 50 billion, but most of those are attributable to the PIMCO Total Return Fund. Uh, let's take a closer look at our taxable bond ETFs now. For the week, the group had net outflows of 730 million. Most of this is tied to uh, uh, high yield ETFs, which had outflows of 823 million for the week. Uh, a large part of those outflows are tied to two Guggenheim products, though, which uh, reached their maturity at the end of 2014, and both were terminated, and uh, the remaining assets uh, parsed out to the investors. Let's, let's move on now to our muni bond fund category for the week. They had net inflows of 1.2 billion. This is the largest one week net inflow in almost two years since mid-January of 2013. Uh, once again, uh, national munis carried the day with net inflows of $1 billion, while single state munis took in $200 million for the week. Uh, moving on to our last group now, money market funds. This group had $12.7 billion in net outflows last week. This is a reversal of the trend we saw at the end of 2014 when money markets had positive net inflows in 10 of the last 11 weeks of the year which accounted for net inflows of almost uh, right around $100 billion, which put them in posit positive territory for the year at $3.1 billion in net inflows. Uh, in last week's activity for money markets, the main culprit for the outflows was the institutional taxable money markets, which had net outflows of uh, almost $19 billion. Well, that's, that wraps up this week's report. If you'd like to take a deeper dive and get some more information for yourself, please vi visit us at www dot lipper us fun flows dot com